Cocos is a fundamental software technology, which is something everybody is going to use eventually to uh, write their code. It is a common language which you can use to write your code once, your software once, your application once, and which then will be able to run across all these different architectures which all speak a slightly different language. There are so many different architectures out there in high performance computing, but also in other areas of computing, right? You have uh, things on your phone, you have things in your laptop, etc. and everything has their own different, slightly different language. And Cocos is the common language you can use to uh, target all of them. From a user perspective, what's really important about Cocos is that they don't have to understand all the details of every hardware. Cocos does that for them underneath, right? We map a common language to all of these things. So you have to only learn one API, one set of semantics, you write your code correct in Cocos semantics, and we map that then correctly to all the underlying things. Exalt is a, is a project within the Exascale Computing Project, and it uses the LAMPS MD code to simulate the behavior of materials in nuclear fusion reactors for electric power generation. The problem with these large computers is that each one is different. We would have to rewrite our code each time we want to run on a different one of these computers. With Cocos, we did it one time about five years ago, got very good performance on the DOE Summit computer, and now we find that when we're running on Frontier, which, it, which really is an exascale computer, we are getting very good performance without having to change our code at all. Frontier just uh, came online, and from day one, all the applications that were using Cocos are able to run efficiently on the machine with virtually no change to the source code. So the same application that was running efficiently on Summit is able to run on Frontier, which means that Cocos delivered its promise of performance portability. You get two other libraries that come with Cocos ecosystem, Cocos kernels and Cocos tools. Cocos kernels is basically a set of kernels for linear algebra and graph algorithms. This is, think of this as the foundation where you build applications on top. And Cocos Tools helps you work with these kernels, figure out where are the hot spots, what are the, uh, where you have to optimize better, debug tools, profiling tools, and uh, so that you can write your application both using Cocos and using Cocos kernels. So the users really benefit from our wrappers that um, will take care of the slight uh, dissimilarities between the vendor libraries and instead have a uniform interface that they can rely on on all the platforms that they want to run their codes on. I first heard about Cocos in 2015 and was really fascinated by the, the vision and the mission for Cocos, but also, to be honest, somewhat skeptical that we really needed something like this. Well, I couldn't have been more wrong. Cocos really was uh, I think a masterful approach to allowing the domain scientists, whether you're a nuclear engineer like myself or a high energy physicist or a mechanical engineer, to really focus on design, allowing application developers to spend time on what they should be spending time on, their domain science, and what they want to spend time on. So it really did lower the barrier to entry, lower the risks to entry for applications. You're working on something which matters. There are so many users out there, so many developers out there who write real interesting and important science and engineering applications which really impact how industry works, how science works, how national security missions work. And that is really important to us. We can impact you know, how the next generation of clean energy uh, projects work, right? We can impact how research into climate change works, you know, that it, that it can leverage all these new exascale architectures. And being able to do that, knowing that you make a difference for real engineering and science problems in the end, that is important, that's really rewarding. <laughs>